If you ever think of buying good quality meat at unbeatable price, think Magilac Butchers, your only suitable solution for quality meat for you and your family consumption. Our comprehensive range of meat products include minced meat, beef slices, top side, knuckle, rump steak, silver side, tenderloin, strip loin, and four quarter. We offer consistent value, quality, and service through animals grass-fed and bred, especially for their meat. This makes the meat much more tasty, succulent, tender, and easy to cook. All meats at Magilic Butchers are halal, including for the first time in the Gambia, the new Mongolian whole lamb, available only at Magilic Butchers. Rush now and visit Magilic Butchers on Caraba Avenue, opposite the Petrogas petrol station traffic lights. For inquiries and orders, please call 7688-688. That is 7688-688. Magilic Butchers, the home of quality meat and chicken products at unbeatable prices. With whatever we do, Johnny Safu no la. With whatever we do, Halei the moon is cool. Nepam ne ne kudlu kula. Nepam gira gala ge na. Nepam ne ne kudlu kula. Ibulo ke no mo toni beti sola. Ibulo ke da toni beto do. Bigi. Eh eh. Bigi kumbu. Lami. Na. Lami te jive no rinte ni ame lami. Gula ko na nyita mo lamin. Pabi lenki. Muna ngata afongole. Aha na. Ngata ngata. Ngoto. Ngoto le. Fabra ma. Mingi. Baba nyole. Muna ngoto le. Fabra ma. Na mu juma la kumwa ni teng. Fabra ma. Juma la mu. Ndele ibare muso. Lunda mana. Lunda mana. Lunda mana. Lunda mana. Juma ni mbere. Jamani vera. Lindo ko. Eh jamani. Bari ngoto mon contande. Eh bari jamani vana na ramudu wa mon contande. Ngoto minaka ngalami je fum fili tale. Lami jibe nori nyala. Lami ile sirama sama na bengi. Yala so to sign no ay bomo lokumo mo. Ngoto. Nam. Itedi nte alo ne lami hakilo dia ta bake karambu ngot. Anu sign ten ministry ko dindu ngole si suoko na amake ko do holi dia. Si bitu si bitu si bitu si bitu. Ba bona de ba bona ringa. Si bitu. Ala ni nyaba ala ni ko kede na mo ba lo. Ala ni na ko si ma karta bulo be dam la ni je. Nam, ngoto mon contane feren feren feren. Dama ni mune kata. Ifi ke lamin ki wulo ko no nyin tay mon ko do. Fete malo lamin nyen de sila la be la moy kala karamo. Dama ni karamo wol be sorane ne ko fasi ta wulo ko no ko. Baba. Ah ah, karamo wol ma ko. Ni ko karamo wol sorane da make kom holi de lem. Ngoto. Di ni ko nyen de sila la ala karamo la moy yamen ka ben foe. Mon contane de. Mon contane an dama ndi. Ala nyin kombo kurang adan da la kombo lan do la jang karamo wol le sorane do non. Ka ben kurang ma ra do la kombo. Ah. Ko ndol fanena kara mool soro nyaay kara mool soro lamin ara ra lo nyino la man tara fena sokon ala mu nekela am lamin i je foy de malo ko lesi lol be ke ka radio to nga fayne nga fayne i ko nyaa ni mool lamin nga fayne nga fayne ya mu na fonye kabe mina kan tambita tambita nteri manyi fatu ha tambita la sokon ala dindi wol bebe siri be la moy ka 
Ah, faru dan so amfana tambi da jelaji subala da ngaje dindi ngol be je talanta ne kili wato. E be serin jelat. Sa lamin fana te ku kili woke no la ba, bad lamin bi ta ka wulo ko no nyin tay mo. Ara mi. Amon dara fenna la. Ite ite ni ne ko ni man si ye kari la lesuno la mo radio te ibalon na. Muneka ke afon de banya ramin de awon. Ke lentel jiko. Afon de ram mo be ke. Ete balon tel be jikiri tel. Ah. Ni man karam be ku kele. Ya je nate kara namba samala ya etari je. par nyarande combo courant on vendra combo ile na rajede ni sonka baye ko lamine manya ta la wulo faru karam wolbe so da fa ne membe ko ngoto wala nati ba o ngalle ni lamine kuntala combo courant o ka fa me combo courant a sototal a sototal wala ki nay ko e si suwo kono bari ni ko e si suwo kono be be karam wol di ke la radio ni telel to hani tele ma sototo to nyaay man tele sototo da bo ngoy bar radio be bulle ngoto batiri sa nga ay si ay alama sa do ko la nyaadi la ko ta ro bulaji a be o ko la nyaadi kamun ke nyaadi radio abe wala moy la be mona fala je e be rakaram di lol kala jele ti tal be radio ko men rakaram ah il est subjecteur au baby jele e baby jele wala nan ka chocho moy fa dan so wala ngom be tambi kana ngadi ni wol je be ikadum bu ko de ko kada ma mon a so total de la min mala be kara wala de bari laf ta la idea lon ko inde every year second wala fourth mon ami ko no di ha ko de ko fol lesini la ba de lesini lon na ba mba sai mba foke en koto wala fa ngoy en wulindi yalo fa mo keta bat ni fa dan bulata ko wol ko de meyen nati jambi la min nyanta karana ndel be jiko be nyina ka ya bulay kara wulo kana ta kilar ya bambalo yo be bulay je koto dindi ngoy si ayala ayala le sino la moy radio wala ka munda kara mo mansoro la min nyanta kara si suwa ayala le sino ndal ko korna kosmo lo kilar ya be bindela ko momoy sa e mi do ni koro kara ndengi bruso mi ndal ko rodi la la baro sa no radio no bari woro radio ni abe je le bari ngamra ko mande mbul dia la la nyara nyara wofra mo ko fendi mol la la min tawra baro sa bara ke ku folo ajibe no ri nyala bi tamete ku ngambo <laughs> 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 Tambi bungo na tambi bungo na ndara mel ngando ko fele ko ke ibaru ngande ni pelo la ndija iyo a ba ndar la bungo na bismillah bi sudi ara pendulala ye fongo tanka sina dulu tanka he he koro 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 ta he koro koro Hello viewers and listeners. Welcome to another English session. Today we're going to discuss a very important topic. Our topic today will focus on parts of speech in English language. English language has eight parts of speech, namely nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, conjunctions, prepositions, and interjections. Whatever you want to write in English language you use these parts of speech. For example, if you construct a sentence you use the parts of speech. If I should say Fatu is a student. In that sentence I use noun, verbs and noun. What is the noun in that sentence Fatu? What is the verb in the sentence is student also another noun so whatever you want to say or whatever you want to write in english language you must use these parts of speech now let us look at them one after the other we're going to start with nouns we're going to look at the definition how do we define a noun what is a noun a noun can be defined as A noun is a name given to anything. In other words, a noun is a naming word. We can also say a noun names people, places, animals, things and ideas. Now consider the following examples for better understanding. 
Let's look at the examples. Names of people. You have Fatu, Modu, Nas, President, Driver, Watchman, Teacher, Taylor, etc. These words, they name people. For example, Fatu names a particular person, like when you say, Fatu is my sister, Modu is my brother. The nurse works at the health center, the president lives at the state house. All these are examples of nouns which name people. We also look at names of animals. On the animals, you have the following examples, dog, ant, lizard, bird, sheep, rat, hen, snake, tiger, lion, etc. You can say the dog kills the rat. In that case, you can see dog as a noun, and rat also as a noun. Names of places. Noun also names places. For example, market, hotel, mosque, church, school, village, center. In our local languages, we call them bantaba. So you can see, I am going to the market. You're referring to a place. He's working at the hotel. You refer into the place. My father goes to the mosque every day. You refer into the pl to a place. So here nouns also names places. Names of things. Nouns also name things. Example, mobile phone is a name of thing. Watch, vehicle, table, spoon, football, chalk, television, etc. All these are nouns with name things. Nouns also name ideas. For example, beauty, honesty, wisdom, trust, democracy, intelligence, kindness, ugliness. All these are examples of nouns. Therefore, we understand that any word that gives a name, we can call it a noun. So we say it, a noun is a name of anything. We move on. Now, look at this exercise for better understanding of noun. Underline the nouns in the following sentences. Let us look at our sentences. Sentence one is, Omar lives in Jabakunda. Underline the nouns in the sentence. Omar lives in Jabakunda. Number two, the monkey was seen in the forest. The monkey was seen in the forest. Number three, the children are playing in the football field. Number four, Banjul is the capital of the Gambia. Number five, she pleased to have laptop on the table. Now in these sentences, I will want you to underline the nouns. Now try them, we see. Good. Now compare your work to this work. Sentence one, Omar lives in Jabakunda. Here the noun is Omar and Jabakunda. What does Omar name? Omar names a person and Jabakunda names a place. Number two, the monkey was seen in the forest. What are the nouns in this sentence? Here you have two nouns, monkey and forest. What does monkey name? An animal, and forest also names a place. Number three, the children are playing in the football field. What are the nouns in this sentence? The nouns are children, which names people, football field is also a noun, and it names a place. Number four, Banjul is the capital of the Gambia. The nouns in this sentence are Banjul and the Gambia. What does Banjul name? Banjul names a particular place, and the Gambia also names a particular 
country. Example five, she left her laptop on the table. What are the nouns in this sentence? Laptop and a table. What do they name? Laptop names a thing and table also names a thing. So in short, nouns name either people, places, animal, things or ideas. We move on. Now we're going to look at types of nouns. The types of nouns are as follow. Common nouns, proper nouns, concrete nouns, abstract nouns, collective nouns, and compound nouns. So each of these nouns will be looked at thoroughly. So we're going to look at what is common nouns, what is proper noun, what is concrete noun, abstract nouns, collective noun, etc. So we move on. Common nouns. What are common nouns? And why do we call them a common noun? These are nouns that name common things. In other words, common nouns are general names given to things of the same kind. Below are examples of common nouns. Let's look at example one. Teacher is a common noun. It can be used to refer to anybody teaching. We have also a boy. It's a common noun. It can be used to refer to any young male child. Police is a common noun. Woman is a common noun. Vegetable, nurse, driver, doctor, carpenter, student, lecturer, etc. All these are common nouns because these are common names given to things of the same kind. Because when we talk of a lecturer, we refer him to anybody who teaches in a tertiary institution. When we talk of student, we refer him to anybody going to school. So here you can see these names are common to everybody. Now, let us try to understand common noun here. So what are we going to do? You're going to have this exercise. What are you going to do? You underline the common nouns in the following sentences. What are the sentences? Good. The teacher is teaching the students. Number two, the boy plays football every evening. Number three, the doctor works at the hospital. Number four, the driver drives carefully. Number five, the lecturer lectures at the university. Now look at these sentences and you underline the common nouns in them. We move on. Now compare these answers to yours. Sentence one, the teacher is teaching the students. What are the common nouns? Here you have teacher and students. Sentence two, the boy plays football every evening. The common noun in this sentence is boy. Number three, the doctor works at the hospital. The common noun here is doctor. Number four, the driver drives carefully. The common noun here also is driver. Number five, the lecturer lectures at the university. So the common noun in this sentence is lecturer. So you can see all the underlying words are all common nouns. We move on. We're going to look at another type of noun, which is proper nouns. What are proper nouns? And what is the difference between proper nouns and common nouns we just discussed? Proper nouns are direct opposite to common nouns. Proper nouns name a specific or particular person, place, events, months, etc. Proper nouns are unlike common nouns. As we discussed, common nouns are names given to things of the same kind. Common noun does not belong to anybody. But proper nouns are opposite to them because proper nouns would name a particular person, not a common person. 
would also name a particular place, not a common place, would also name a particular thing, not a common thing compared to a common noun. Now get the examples here. Person, Modu, Adama, Isatu, Fode. It's unlike common nouns. When you say boy, it's common. It could mean any boy. It could mean Modu, Omar, Aliu, Bab. But when you say Modu, you're referring to Modu only. So the name is proper and is specific to Modu. So the other examples are Adama, Isatu, Fode, etc. Proper nouns also name particular place. Example, village, towns, countries, and continents in the world. Let's get the example. When you talk of Basse, it's a proper noun. What does it name? A particular town. We talk of Ndungukebe, it's a proper noun. What does it name? A particular village. We talk of Senegal, it's a proper noun. What does it name? A particular country. We talk of Spain, it is also a proper noun. What does it name? A particular country as well. America, of course. So we move on, M month of the year, May, January, April, March. Days of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, etc. Names of religions, they are also proper nouns. For example, we have Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, and Judaism, etc. So all these examples are proper nouns because they give or they name a specific either person, place, month, day, or religion. We move on. Proper nouns always begins with a capital letter no matter where it appears in a sentence. In your writing, proper nouns, you should always begin them with a capital letter irrespective of their position in the sentence. If a proper noun comes at the beginning, at the middle, at the end, anywhere in the sentence, that proper noun must be written in capital letter. Note, you can never write a proper noun with a small letter. Grammatically, it's not correct. Look at the examples on the board. Fatu visits America every January. Fatu is a proper noun. Of course, it begins the sentence at the same time it begins with a capital letter. America does not begin the sentence, but it has to begin with a capital letter because it is a proper noun. January didn't begin the sentence, but it has to begin with a capital letter because it is a proper noun. We look at example two. The two main religions in the Gambia are Islam and Christianity. The proper nouns in this sentence are Gambia, of course it begins with a capital letter, Islam as a name of religion, and Christianity also a name of a religion. So all these proper nouns begin with a capital letter. Letter. Example three, I want to visit Banjul, the capital of the Gambia. The proper nouns here are Banjul and Gambia. So if you look at them, Banjul begins with a capital letter, even though it doesn't start the sentence, Gambia begins with a capital letter, even though it does not begin the sentence. So this tells you that proper noun always begins with a capital letter. Number four, Friday is a holiday in Islam. What are the proper nouns? Friday, of course, because we discussed that name of the days are treated as proper nouns. Therefore, it begins with a capital letter. We also have Islam as a name of religion, and we discussed that 
proper noun include the name of religions. Number five, in Christianity, Sunday is a holy day. The same thing applies. The proper noun here is Christianity. Didn't begin the sentence, yet it starts with a capital letter because it is a proper noun. Likewise, Sunday is a proper noun and also begins with a capital letter. So in writing, wherever you write proper nouns, always begin them with capital letter. It would be completely wrong to write a proper noun with a small letter. For example, you cannot say Banjul is the capital of the Gambia. This will be completely wrong because Banjul is a proper noun. And all proper nouns must begin with capital letter. And Gambia is also a proper noun. And all proper nouns must begin with capital letter. Therefore, the correct one would have been like this. Banjul in capital letter. Then you continue. You move on up to here. The Gambia. D. And then Gambia like this. This is it. Banjul is the capital of the Gambia. So you can see, equally, you cannot say Ali is a good boy. You cannot say that. What do you say? Why? Because Ali is a proper noun. So you don't begin proper nouns with a small letter. Good. So we move on. Now we're going to look at another type of noun. This one is called concrete noun. These are nouns that can be seen and touched physically. When we talk of something concrete, in this aspect, we're referring to something that we can see, we can touch. What we can see here, a board. We can see it. How does it look like? Green. And we can touch it. Equally, we can see this, a duster. Equally, we can also see a chalk. So anything that you can see and touch, we consider it as concrete nouns. Concrete nouns include some proper nouns, common nouns, collective nouns, and some compound nouns as well. Look at the examples here. Mobile phone, laptop, chalkboard, car, bicycle, etc. You can all see a mobile phone, and you can touch them because you always carry them. You can all also see a laptop, chalk, chalkboard, car, bicycle. You can see all these things. They are for concrete nouns refers to any noun that can be seen and touched at the same time. So look at the examples here. The mobile phone rings frequently. The chalkboard is white. The car belongs to Modo. So these concrete nouns, you can always see them. You can see a chalkboard like this. You can see a mobile phone. Equally, you can also see a car. So concrete nouns refers to nouns that we can see and touch physically. Now we're going to look at abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are direct opposite to concrete noun. What makes it opposite? Because that one you can see and touch, but this one you cannot see and touch. Abstract nouns, as the name imp implies, these are nouns that cannot be seen and touched physically. This is because abstract nouns exist only through imagination. Therefore, we only see them in our mind's eyes. And we can also feel some of them. For example, hunger is an abstract noun that you can feel. But actually, you cannot see it and you cannot touch it. If I should ask you to describe a hunger, you wouldn't. If I should ask you also to touch hunger, you wouldn't. They are unlike concrete noun. If it was a concrete noun, I said chalkboard, touch the chalkboard, you can simply do this. But abstract nouns, you cannot do that. Because they only exist through imagination. You can feel them, but you cannot touch them. Freedom, love, advice, faith, madness, beauty. All these nouns 
you cannot touch them physically, no. Equally, you cannot also see them. You talk of freedom. How does it look alike? You talk of advice. You talk of faith. You talk of madness, beauty. But, of course, you can feel them, some of them. Just look at the example. It was given absolute freedom, of course. But can you see the freedom? The advice he gave us was beneficial to us. You need to exercise maximum faith in this trying moment. We move on. We're going to look at another type of noun, which is collective nouns. As the name implies, collective nouns name people or things in group. In other words, collective nouns refer to a group of people or things in a specific way. They always refer to people, animals, place, things. Now, the collective noun here named things in group, in their collection. It does not name individual. Collective noun is unlike proper noun, which names a particular person. But this one named people in group. Let's look at the example. Class of students. When we talk of a class, it's more than one student. One student alone cannot constitute a class. Staff of teachers. When you talk of staff, we refer to more than one employee. So therefore we say, our school has enough teachers, meaning our schools is staffed with enough teachers. So one person alone cannot make up a staff. Therefore you cannot say, my father is a staff of Narek. But you can say, my father is a member of staff at Narek. Army of soldiers. One and one soldier cannot constitute an army. What do we say? Army means a group of soldiers. Army means a group of soldiers. Therefore, you don't say, my brother is an army. You say, my brother is a soldier. Because your brother alone cannot make up an army. So we have troop of singers, gang of criminals, choir of singers, panel of judges, party committee. So when you talk of committee, it consists of more than one person. So one person alone cannot form up a committee. So we look at this. Animals. We have a colony of bees, a pack of dogs, a pack of wolves, an army of ants, a pride of lion, a herd of cattle, a poultry of chickens, a troop of monkeys. We also have this place. Suite of rooms, cluster of villages, continent, forest, etc. We move on. Things. A glass of stars, a fleet of cars, a set of tools, a bunch of bananas, a bunch of keys, a range of mountains, a string of beads, a deck of cards. Now, underline the collective nouns here. The crowd sounds like a herd of elephants. The staff includes professionals and non-professionals. The group of students is standing in line. A bunch of keys was found in the office. The boy was missing in the forest. Good? So in this exercise, the collective nouns are, the crowd sounds like a heart of elephant. You have crowd and heart of elephant. Number two, the staff include professionals and non-professionals. So you can see you have the collective noun here as staff. The group of students is standing in line. Here, the collective noun here is group. A bunch of keys was found in the office. The collective noun here is a bunch of. And number five, the boy was missing in the forest. Now, compound nouns. These are nouns that consist of two or more words to form a single noun. One word alone, or one noun alone, cannot form a compound noun. But two words can be used to form a compound noun. So we look at this. Some compound nouns are joined or close, 
Others are separate words while some are hyphenated. Example, compound nouns that are joined, you can get the word like classroom. Classroom is one word. You cannot write class like this. You write, you write room here. It will not be correct. What do you do? You write this classroom, one word. You also have football. You cannot write food like this. You write ball here. What do you do? You write this football in one word. So chairperson, you cannot also write like this. You cannot write this chair, you write person here. What do you do? You put them in one word, chairperson. Okay? So these words, you don't separate them. You have policeman, headmaster, latecomer, landlord, timetable, etc. You still can continue. You look at all this bathroom, password, bedtime, class bag. All these are examples of compound words that are always joined. Now, the hyphenated words, some other compound words, you cannot join them. Examples of these are mother-in-law, by-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law. We move on. Separate words, head girl, staff room, house fly, etc. Good. Note. All the nouns discussed can be classified as either countable or uncountable nouns. Now get ready to learn the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns, these are nouns that we can count and put them in numbers. Countable nouns can occur in both singular and plural form with determinants like a and etc. For example, bike school, chair, envelope. Because it is a countable noun, you can say a bike, you can say a car, you can say a school, a chair, or an envelope. You can also say bikes, cars, schools, chairs, etc. So look at the example. There is a bike in the garage. There are six bikes in the garage. My uncle bought a car. My uncle bought many cars. As you can see, Countable noun can occur in both singular and plural. That's why you have bike, bikes. They can also take determinants like a and an. Thus, you have a bike or you have an envelope. We move on. Uncountable nouns are the opposite of countable nouns. These are nouns that we cannot count without using units of measurement, such as liter of, kilo of, etc. Partitives such as a piece of, or determiners such as some little or a little can also be used with uncountable nouns. For example, water. You cannot count water. You don't say waters or a water. You don't say I need a water. All right? What do you say? I need some water. Okay? Um, equally, cement. You, say, you don't say cements, but you can say five bags of Cement. Not five bags of cements, because cement itself is uncountable noun. A piece of advice, you don't say advices. You don't say he gave us advices. He gave us a piece of advice. A loaf of bread, you cannot say breads. You don't say, I want to buy five breads with S. Bread cannot take S because it is uncountable nouns. It doesn't occur in plural form. You can say loaves of bread but not a loaf of bread. A piece of information. You don't say informations with S. Information cannot take S. For example, you cannot write this. You add S. No, it doesn't take S. The S is not there. Equally, you cannot also say an information because it is uncountable noun. They don't take articles. Um, they, they will not also take S, so, so plural form. So we move on. We have a piece of chalk. Chalk is always chalk. You don't say chalks. Um, chalk. Bring two pieces of chalk, not chalks. You cannot bring the S there. So we move on. Good. Summary. Nouns are naming words. Nouns name people, places, animals, things, and ideas. The types of nouns are 
common nouns, proper nouns, concrete nouns, abstract nouns, collective nouns, and compound nouns. Common nouns are general names given to things of the same kind. Proper nouns name a specific, particular person, place, event, month. Concrete nouns are nouns that can be seen and thought physically. Abstract nouns, as the name implies, these are nouns that, we, that cannot be seen and thought physically. Collective nouns refer to a group of people or things in a specific way. Compound nouns consist two or more words to form a single noun. Now, let's do this class exercise. Identify the common and proper nouns in the following sentences. Mr. Njai called the boy. The girl watered the garden. Banjul is the capital of the Gambia. The principal didn't come to school. Senegal is among the West African countries. These sentences identify the common nouns and the proper nouns in them. Now we move on. Good. Now compare these answers to yours. The words in red color are proper nouns, while the, wo the ones in blue color are common nouns. So Mr. Njai called the boy. The proper noun here is Mr. Njai. And the common noun here is boy. The girl watered the garden. Here you have two common nouns, girl and garden. Banjul is the capital of the Gambia. You have two proper nouns. Banjul and the Gambia. The principal didn't come to school. You have two common noun, principal and school. Senegal is among the West African countries. Two proper nouns, Senegal and West Africa. Now we move on. Identify concrete and abstract nouns in the following sentences. The network was fluctuating. Democracy is the best system of government. The holiday was just sought. I saw beauty in her face. Freedom cannot be achieved. Good. Now compare these answers to yours. The words in red color are abstract nouns, while the ones in blue color are concrete nouns. So you can see the network was fluctuating. The abstract noun here is network, because you cannot see network. Um, democracy is the best system of government. So here, the abstract nouns are democracy and government, because we always talk of democracy, democracy, but we cannot see it. How does it look alike? So the computer is new. Computer is concrete, because you can see and touch. I saw beauty in her face. Beauty is abstract, and face is concrete, because you can see, you can touch the face. Freedom cannot be achieved. Freedom, of course, is abstract nouns. It cannot be seen. Now, take this assignment. Identify the nouns in the following sentences. I watched the film in my television. Uncle Omar bought a brand new car. The teacher gave us homework to do. The knife is blunt. The president lives at the state house. The car hit the dog on the road. She always wears expensive clothes. The two brothers help each other. Sambakala is a village in Nyumi. Farafenya is the biggest town in North Bank region. So that's it for today. Work on your assignment before our next lesson. I wish all of you all the best. And of course, I'll always advise you, stay at home. Don't go out. Focus on your education. Read your lessons at home. Avoid gathering. Always wash your hand with soap. Thank you very much. <music>
way comme ni ngeen ko xamé rek dañoo yëngu ci ay tube té yëngu nak ci jox any tube suñ tube bu nekk five stages na la five stages na moy jëss na bi gëna gëna pire mom la ñoo tube palman bi gëna four mom la ñoo liggéeyé ah buñ démé bamako ñun duñ dem ci marché bi rek bub indi dedet dañ leena jox suñu specs ni lañ ni lañ ko bëggé nay lañ ko bëggé fort bi ñaar nangami fort lañ bëgga pour mu mëna set Wow, tube skin care did it. Do ko sol mu di la taxa all over the place. Ci gatal ñun rek ci tube dara do doy bay des. Not only dañu tube but bu la ni hay ñu tubal la ba pare nak ñawal la. Ñaw fim gëna sété nak rek lañu fulé. Ñetti jawkat lañ am am nañ ñaw kat di simple nga xamné you know xopati rek ba def sa tay ba def sa dagit def sa roba amut ben dawme am nañ ko xamné mo ñoo dawme daw me jigen den am nañ tamit special ñewkat bo xamne ñewi goor rek lañu defal nga bëgg sa hiss and hers muy corete muy tobaski mba muy ngenté muy taka mba nga bëgg rek you know def sa yëkë bu baaxa baaxa baax daagul be new skin care plus ñu dimbali la tanal la ciup fam gëna baaxé ndax sa yëkë gëna for li ngene lan xol bi bi taka la skin care feel of legi en tay We are not all about skin. We are skin care and the plus and the plus does come in so many different ways. communication connectivity is everything we ensure that the links never sleep quantities and qualities all in our data service providing efficient reliable voice and data service we believe if you're not up to speed then you're going backwards communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light whatever business you're in having someone who understands your needs is critical That is why we just don't offer you technology we offer you solutions enjoy gumsell's internet broadband anytime anywhere your national operator gumsell yaibarom yeah,
Yo, nggak transfer lah, sudah. Ya transfer lah, sudah. Kod ni aja. Okey, kod sangat. Nanti lah ID sorot. Ah, sorot. Sorry. Agak tak? Bilang bro. Alba. Alba. Barah Allah sahabi sorot hari apa? Ah, barah. Mau kira jangan nunggu nombor hari apa? Ah, jangan nunggu yang ada Forest de Biro. Gambia tongkon nak nombor ya ber. Ah, berum kau yang nafok kato. Barah isi kodo kino kato ni fobolong blabe. Fifty-six branches more than South Gambia, Jack. Huh? Ka. Gambia kono aring Gambia bantala bangkol. Unko kono kia beret. Hmm? Kono sifa sifa fok falindiro fanya di lafta memena kodi topoto nung kodi marao. Jangan number one di nyonda. Anu fana nata anoda enterprises sotale. Golam golam nyunjuko. Domorol fana ngol fana be fira le le daddy man. Domorol di fana beteat. Ha. Gambia dau da ya lo ngaku fana kendol sotale di. Ha. Eh, wamu ya. Ha. Apelin tak? Mau apa? Ni malaf tak ni lang kendol lebi nai. Ya lebi bukan ni lo kuol lah. Abar kah? Ha ha ha. Ya lantel cosano lo. Abar kah? Yamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. Boy, Janno Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who be in the Dimbal. Number Domoro Kala Janno. Domoro Seneata Adiata Topotoro Fanan Kenda Ma Bije. Luntan During Tamala Abeka Domoro Kijani. Adi Manda Walade. Take away Bijele and in Fanan Kafa Dijang Ikono Efa. Eka Fominoko Pestry and in Bakery. Iko Fanan Bakery. Bade lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ya four thousand dollar dunia kono. Domoro better ma ni lom international hotel wada number one. Amang ke bade mola jang daman. Esa domo jang is atari ya. Awo muku bandi. Ha. Anu pa ni sa futen din. E otu sa na kuwa be musikas restaurant. Daman jang namu yad ni manje jorom bija. Aban. Musikas restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction.